In the last video, I shared about LogSeq, a new generation of PKM. Nowadays, I've used it for over three months. And in the last three months, this app just began to change my life. In this video, I will share you with five top LogSeq plugins I use daily that enhanced my LogSeq work experience. The first app is called Journal's Calendar. Yeah, when I use LogSeq, my main purpose is just uh, for journaling. Logsig has so many good journaling features, such as continuous rolling, template inserting, and the theme switching. There are some moments when I forgot to log my daily journals. It's hard to do it in Logsig again. So that's where the journal calendars comes to the rescue. With this plugin, I can effortlessly check my notes in a calendar view. The orange dots make it crystal clear whether I've written a journal entry for the day and giving you a quick visual overview of your monthly progress. It's like having a monthly snapshot of your work. That's making it super easy to review your monthly achievements. Additionally, you can also switch between daily journals quickly, either through the date or month numbers. The plugin gives you total control over your daily view. The second plugin on our list is a plugin called the to-do list. Except for daily journal writing, the second biggest feature of Logsig changed me is the task management. Before Logsig, I've struggled with traditional task management software so while because the tasks I needed to tackle were always interconnected with my notes and projects. Most task management tools are not suitable for note taking. However, Logsig seamlessly combines note-taking and task management together. As for me, I prioritize notes over tasks, so Logsig's integrated system was a perfect fit for my workflow. During my daily journaling sessions, I can smoothly list tasks and connect them to relevant projects or notes. The to-do list plugin takes the task management to the next level by placing Placing a convenient task list at the top right corner of the interface. I can add tasks at moment. Also, I can set them for different dates, priority, or without the hassle of navigating through various journal pages. Agenda. And meanwhile, I also want to mention another plugin named Agenda. Differ from to-do list, Agenda provides a calendar view to display your scheduled tasks. Also, you can use a specific syntax to mark the duration and the specific time for each task. It's just like a traditional calendar app. Within the calendar view, you can easily switch between weekly, bi-weekly, and monthly views. I find this feature particularly useful because it provides a clear overview of my plans so I can know which days have more flexible time and which are packed with too many tasks. I can arrange my day more elegance now. Now let's talk about another plugin that takes my writing experience to the next level. This plugin is called Bully Threading. Logsig is definitely a fantastic writing software thanks to its block based editor that it inherently bring logical structure to my writing experience. When I craft long-form articles or notes in Logsync, the abundance of bullet points, indentation, and outlining that can sometimes make me so overwhelmed. But the bullet threading plugin can easily make it to stay organized. Bullet threading using lines to mark the status of each section as I editing. These bold lines help me to keep my focus on the content I'm currently working on. On this emphasized lines is reducing the chance of errors. What's more, you can customize various parameters of bullet threading plugins in settings. You can tweak the thickness of connecting lines, choose colors, and more. Trust me, bullet threading can significantly enhance your text editing experience in Logsic. Pomodoro function. When I come to editing long-form text from Logsic, 
The focus and the concentration ability is extremely important for me. I try to keep my Autradian focus while the long form writing session. That's why I've discovered a fascinating plugin that serves as a timer and provides a Pomodoro like function inside for me to work with. This function is called Loxig Pomodoro plugin. I love this plugin so much. Whenever I go in to write long form articles, I will just open the Pomodoro plugin and usually set a 90 minute time block. It's the most suitable time for most people of one section of Autradian focus. I typically go through two or three of these cycles in one day. This also is my max load of my concentration energy per day. The Pomodoro plugin integrates timer function and the Pomodoro function so I can see the time session just with a glance instead of switching with other apps. The last plugin, Automatic Linker. The last plugin I really recommend is Automatic Linker. When I write in notes or journals in Logsig, the more you mention existing notes, the more links it will generate. That's the feature of PKM apps. You will obtain a complicated knowledge graphic. However, this beautiful interconnectedness can pose a challenge as your graph grows. Remembering every page name becomes almost impossible. It leads to potential duplicates and confusions. This is where the automatic linker comes to the rescue. After writing any sentence in Logsig, just simply press the hotkeys and the plugin will parse the sentence to identify existing pages. So it's simple enough to solve the common issue. You can even customize the hotkeys in settings to suit your preference. The plugin has made a significant help in my writing experience and notes organizations. It saves me time and eliminates the need to constantly recall existing page names. Yeah, that's why I totally recommended this plugin and this is gonna be so helpful. You will just fall in love with this plugin. Okay, that's the video today. I hope these plugins can enhance your writing experience in Logsig, just as they have for me. And if you found this video is helpful, please just give me a like and subscribe to this channel for more digital productivity tips in soon. If you are new here or if you missed my previous video on the basics of using Logsig, you can just find the link in the description below. And feel free to share your thoughts and experience experience in the comments below. Your feedback is always helpful and we can see you in the next one.